Hi, we're here late on Wednesday afternoon with an update on dangerous Hurricane Melissa. Now moving through the southeastern Bahamas, uh, maximum sustained winds now about 90 miles per hour, currently located about 80 miles to the south southeast of the central Bahamas, but moving very close right now to Long Island and to just to the west of Crooked Island and Acklands. Maximum sustained winds, as I mentioned, 90 miles per hour. The center of Melissa now moving more quickly toward the northeast at about 16 miles per hour. So we have hurricane warnings in effect for the central and southeastern Bahamas, tropical storm warnings for the Turks and Caicos. The most dangerous conditions will be in the next few hours here as the center of Melissa moves through the Bahamas. Uh, storm surge inundation of four to seven feet above ground level near and to the right of where the center of Melissa is moving. Again, these low-lying islands in the Bahamas very susceptible to storm surge. On the rainfall front, five to 10 inches of rainfall expected across portions of the Baha southeastern Bahamas uh, during the next few hours and into the overnight hours, one to three inches across the Turks and Caicos. Still some residual rainfall farther south into portions of Hispaniola, one to two inches, uh, eastern Cuba, one to two inches as well. Uh, consider uh, some uh, continuation of the flash flooding and landslide risk, especially across eastern Cuba through this evening where we've had some very high rainfall totals. Uh, the good news is, is that Melissa will be accelerating away from the Bahamas as we go into the overnight hours and early Thursday. And then as we move into Thursday night and Friday, the center of Melissa expected to pass near or just west of Bermuda as we go from the overnight hours Thursday into early Friday morning. The size of the storm going to increase. The uh, system could restrengthen a little bit over the next 12 to 24 hours. So we are expecting hurricane conditions in Bermuda late Thursday and Thursday night where we have a hurricane warning in place. The good news is it'll be a relatively quick event there. Not a lot of rainfall expected with the fast motion of Melissa by that time. And then after that, Melissa will move moving out into the North Atlantic. So wrapping up with the key messages here on this Wednesday afternoon in the Bahamas and Turks and Caicos, that's where we have the most dangerous conditions ongoing right now, especially southeastern Bahamas. Hurricane conditions, life-threatening storm surge, heavy rainfall could result in flash flooding there across portions of the southeastern and central Bahamas through the evening. Remain in a safe place until local officials tell you it's safe to venture out. Again, tropical storm conditions, heavy rain, and co coastal flooding expected in the Turks and Caicos Islands this evening as well. On Bermuda, hurricane conditions and heavy rainfall expected beginning late Thursday and continuing into Thursday night. And in the nose areas, especially in Jamaica, eastern Cuba, that saw the most direct impacts, also portions of Haiti, southern Dominican Republic, southwestern peninsula of Haiti. Follow the advice of your local officials. You may need to remain sheltered in place. Uh, until it's safe to go out, widespread down power lines, damage, infrastructure damage uh, in those areas. Ensure that if you're operating a generator, you're doing it in a safe uh, way. It's properly ventilated and at least 20 feet from your home. And uh, during the cleanup, please be careful when you're using chainsaws and power tools, drink plenty of water to remain hydrated. And again, most importantly, listen to that uh, advice and the instructions you're given by your local government officials in all of these areas and pay attention to the warnings and products from your local meteorological service. Come back here to the Hurricane Center at hurricanes.gov for the latest on Melissa. And thanks for joining us. I'm Mike Brennan.